half an hour drive from Dinant, crossing the border into France, and you will step into a postcard as you wander through this little town center. It's like a real-life fairy tale, complete with charming cobblestone streets. The name of this town is Givet. Hi, and welcome to Givet, a hidden gem nestled in the Ardennes region of France. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore the beauty and history of this enchanting town. So grab your cameras, let's go! Situated on the banks of the Meuse River, Givet is a small town with a population of 6,000 residents, and located near the border with Belgium. The first recorded mention of Givet dates back to the 7th century when it was a small village under the control of the Merovingian kings. As time went on, Givet grew in importance and attracted the attention of powerful rulers. Fast forward to the 17th century, and Givet found itself embroiled in conflicts such as the Franco-Dutch War and the Napoleonic Wars. During this time, the iconic Fort de Charlemont was constructed, standing tall as a testament to Givet's military significance. But it wasn't all battles and sieges. Givet also had its fair share of cultural and artistic influence. Throughout the centuries, the town attracted painters, writers, and intellectuals who drew inspiration from its picturesque landscapes and charming streets. Givet natural beauty and historical ambience became a muse for creative minds. In more recent history, Givet has undergone transformations, embracing its heritage while adapting to modern times. The town center still echoes the past, with its cobblestone streets and traditional houses, but now it bustles with shops, cafes, and a vibrant atmosphere. The architecture of Givet showcases a blend of different styles and periods due to its rich history and cultural influences. The town has preserved elements of medieval architecture in its historic center. You can find narrow streets, timber-framed houses, and stone buildings that reflect the medieval period. These structures exhibit solid stone masonry construction, with thick walls, arched doorways, and small, narrow windows. The use of local limestone is common, giving the buildings a distinct regional character. As mentioned, the narrow roads, often found in the town's historic center, contribute to its charming and intimate atmosphere. We walked along Rue Mayhul, past the primary school St. Hilaire, and then continued along Rue Gambetta, one of the main thoroughfares in the town and holds historical and commercial importance. The architecture along Rue Gambetta is a mix of different styles and eras, reflecting the town's rich history. This stretch of road is often closed to vehicle traffic or limited to pedestrians, particularly during certain hours or on specific days. We were surprised that during our visit in Givet, the town looked particularly quiet and empty. It felt like we had the entire place to ourselves, which made it even easier for us to explore. From Rue Gambetta, we made a right turn towards Place Carnot, a notable square, and a central gathering spot in town. You will also find Gothic influence in the architecture of Givet. The Church of Notre Dame de Givet, constructed in the Gothic style, is an excellent example of Gothic architecture in the town. The church features pointed arches, rib vaults, and stained glass windows. Its soaring spires and intricate stone carvings add to its visual appeal. Place Carnot history dates back several centuries. It was named after Lazare Carnot, a prominent French military and political figure during the French Revolution. Further down the road, you will reach Place de la Tour and the riverfront promenade. Givet features a riverfront promenade, allowing visitors to enjoy views of the Meuse River. The promenade may include paved pathways, benches, and green spaces that invite people to relax, socialize, and admire the river. From the promenade, you will also see Fort of Charlemont. The construction of the fort began in 1555, during the reign of Emperor Charles V, hence the name, Charlemont. It was built to fortify the strategic town of Givet and protect the region from potential invasions. The fort was designed with defensive purposes in mind. It was strategically located on a hill overlooking the Meuse River, providing a commanding view of the surrounding area. The complex layout of walls and bastions allowed for better defense against attacks, and the fort's high walls and deep moat provided additional protection. 
The riverfront promenade is designed for pedestrians, creating a tranquil and safe space for walking, jogging, or simply enjoying a leisurely stroll. The sound of the flowing river, combined with the refreshing breeze, creates a soothing atmosphere. The promenade provides excellent vantage points for capturing scenic views of the Meuse River and the town's skyline. We stopped in Givet on our way to Brussels, and we were captivated by the town's history, architecture, and natural beauty. Exploring the town's narrow shopping roads immerses you in the charm of medieval architecture and allows you to discover unique local treasures. The riverfront promenade along the Meuse River provides a serene escape, with stunning views and a pedestrian-friendly environment. Whether you're capturing the picturesque landscapes or indulging in the town's rich cultural heritage, Give It is a destination that captivates both the eyes and the soul. So, next time you are in the region, remember to embark on a memorable walk around in Give It, where history, beauty, and tranquility intertwine to create an unforgettable travel experience. We have reached the end, thank you and see you next Friday.